In the previous video, we created our first smart coin and secured it so that only someone with the correct password could spend it. In this video, we'll use a signature to secure our coin so that only the person with the correct signature will be able to spend the coin. So what is a signature? A digital signature allows you to sign a message with a private key. This message can then be verified by a recipient using your public key. Let's start with an example of signing a message and then verifying it. Run Chia Keys sign dash dash message with the message hello dash dash HGPath M. Then choose your wallet ID. This process will sign the message hello with your private key. To verify this message, we'll run Chia Keys verify, enter the message, then the signature, and the sender's public key. So now that we know how signing works, let's create a coin that can be spent when given the correct signature. So in our Chialisp file, let's define a module that takes two parameters. The first will be a public key that we'll curry in later. This will determine who is able to spend the coin. The second parameter will be the conditions that determine how the coin will be spent. Next, we'll include some libraries to make our code a bit easier to write. The first lets us use written condition codes rather than number codes. And the second is a library for tree hashing. To install these libraries, run this command in the terminal. CDV, CLSP, retrieve, SHA-256 tree, and condition codes. Back to our Chialisp file, we'll define a combined statement with C. And for the first parameter, create a list composed of the agsigme condition, our public key parameter, and the conditions parameter run through the tree hashing library. The second parameter in the combined statement will be the conditions that are passed into the program. So what does this do? Well, the agsigme condition is a standard condition that signs a message with a public key. In this case, we are currying in the key, and the message is the tree hash of the conditions parameter. We do this so that the conditions cannot be modified by the farmer. So in order to spend the coin, the user must provide a solution that contains a list of conditions or how they'd like to spend the coin as well as a signature to show that they are the ones authorized to do so. For this example, we're going to create a solution that uses the create coin condition to essentially unlock the value of the coin and send it back to our wallet. First, let's finish creating this coin. We'll get our master public key with Chia Keys Show and curry that into our program. It's important to prefix the key with 0x to show that it's a value. Now we'll get the puzzle reveal with OPC and enter in the compiled code. Make sure to save this for later. And for the puzzle hash, we'll run OPC-H and enter the compiled code. We'll save this for later as well. We'll need to take the puzzle hash and encode it into an address. Run CDV encode dash dash prefix TXCH and enter the puzzle hash. That gives us the puzzle address. Now we'll send an amount of Chia to this address to lock it. And we'll check the status. Once confirmed, we'll be ready to spend it. To spend the coin, we'll need to create a spend bundle. Take a look at this outline. This should look familiar to the spend bundle we created in the previous video. We'll need four things, the coin record, the puzzle reveal, which we already calculated, the solution we want to provide, and an aggregated signature to authorize our spend. To get the coin record, run CDV RPC coin records dash dash by puzzle hash and enter the puzzle hash from earlier. Copy the coin object and paste it into the spend bundle template. Next, we can enter the puzzle reveal we calculated earlier. For the solution, we're gonna have to do some work. We'll use a standard condition create coin to unlock the value of the coin and send it to our wallet. To do that, we'll need our address, which we can get with Chia wallet get address and decode it to get the wallet address puzzle hash with CDV decode and our address. To craft the solution, we'll run this command. Where 51 is the create coin condition code, our wallet address puzzle hash, and an amount in Mojo. We can enter this response into the solution of our spend bundle. Finally, the aggregated signature. Remember that the message we are signing is the tree hash of our conditions, or our solution. So first, let's generate that hash.
Next, we'll also need the coin ID and the Genesis challenge. The Genesis challenge is a standard value for each network. You can find the appropriate challenge by entering chia show s and searching for Genesis challenge. Since we're on testnet 10, our challenge is this value starting with AE. For the coin ID, we actually need the parent ID, the puzzle hash, and the amount, which can all be found in the coin record we copied earlier. To get the coin ID, we'll run cdv inspect id coins, enter the parent ID, the puzzle hash, and the amount. The agsigme condition expects the concatenation of the conditions tree hash, coin ID, and genesis challenge. So run concat, the conditions tree hash, the coin ID, and the genesis challenge. Make sure to use the prefix 0x to signify that these are values. Now let's sign this message. And since we're not using it as a value, remember to remove the 0x prefix this time. Now we can enter this signature into our spend bundle and push it. Run CDV RPC, push transaction, spend bundle.json. If your signature is incorrect, you'll get a failure message. Otherwise, congratulations, you've created a smart coin secured with a signature and spent it. So we've talked in this video about how signatures work, their importance, and how to implement them into a smart coin. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.